This video is going to be about how we are planning to save for a boat. First things first, we need to decide on which boat we were aiming to buy, and from there we could figure out how much we needed to save in order to get there. Let's preface this by saying that we're going to buy a used boat, and we're probably going to buy a four cabin boat as opposed to an owner's version, and then we're going to convert it into a three cabin owner's version, unless we happen to stumble across a three cabin owner's version that's a good deal. Yes, we know a conversion is a lot of work. That doesn't bother us. So our lowest and cheapest option is a Lagoon 410. These are great boats, but they tend to be a little bit older and there's some issues with the interior layout that we really don't like, so we definitely want to change that. Um, that's our cheapest and kind of backup option. Our second and most probable option is a Lagoon 400. These are pretty comparably sized to the Lagoon 410s, but we like the internal layout a lot better than what the 410s have to offer, but these are you know more expensive. And then our ideal option is a Lagoon 440, but unless we figure out a way to save an extra 20 or 30,000 between now and next spring, that's probably not gonna happen. But we like everything about that. The size, the layout, the space, it's just like perfect for what we want, but the cost, the initial cost is really what gets us, not even the monthly payments on the loan, but the initial costs. From there, we went and did research and found the average listing price for the kind of shape and year of models that we were looking for for these different boats. And that allowed us to come up with some actual financial goals. We've had some preliminary conversations with some boat loan brokers, and with our situation, we're going to need to pay 20% down and probably have 18 months of debt payments in cash in the bank in order to get the boat loan. So using some real numbers as an example, what does that mean? If we talk about a $250,000 boat, which is something like in the Lagoon 400 range that we're looking at, 20% of that is $50,000. So the down payment would have to be $50,000, but we also need 18 months of debt payments in cash in the bank. To figure out a really rough estimate of what your monthly debt payment would be, you take the amount of thousands you're going to borrow and multiply that by seven. So for a $250,000 boat, $50,000 down payment means you're borrowing 200 thousands. So you take 200, multiply by seven, that gives you about $1,400 a month is a very rough estimate of what your monthly payments would be. So from there we take 1,400, multiply by 18 months, and then add that to the 50,000, and that gets us about $75,200. That's how much money we would need in the bank when we get a loan for a $250,000 boat. After running the numbers last May, we figured if we could save $6,000 every month between the two of us for a year, that would get us $72,000 in the bank. Now $6,000 for us is quite, it's kind of a stretch goal. It's not super easy for us to do. And we've not hit that mark every month, but every month we do get better at saving our money. So we're getting closer and closer to that goal. So now we're gonna run over the seven things that we're doing that have had the biggest impact on us being able to save money for this boat. The first thing we did is move into a cheaper apartment. The first apartment we were living in was kind of a bigger, fancier luxury apartment, and we were paying about $1,500 a month. So this past August, our lease was up and we moved into a cheaper apartment that's a little bit further away from downtown and less nice, but it's still completely fine, and now we're only paying just shy of $900 a month. So that helps us a lot every month. The second thing we did was we cut things like our gym membership, which was kind of to a more high-end gym and was costing us about $130 every month. Now we have a membership at a cheaper gym. On top of that, my work gives $50 a month as like a benefit to help cover gym costs. So with my work benefit, we're only paying about $10 a month now to go to the gym. The third thing is we only have one car, so we don't have to pay for a second car. And our car is fully paid off, so we don't have payments. All you have to pay for is gas and repairs and um, registration and insurance. And that allows us to save a lot of money. He bikes to work every day and it takes him about 25 to 30 minutes. And then we just share the car. Lastly, lately the car has been having, it's an older car. Had we not been saving for the boat, we would have replaced the car already. But it just doesn't make sense to do that now. It's been having some mechanical issues, so we're also doing any repairs that we can do ourselves, which helps save a lot of money. Um, the fourth thing we're doing is eating out only once or twice a week. We used to eat out a lot more. You save a lot of money eating food you can prepare, rather than eating out. 
because we've been traveling extensively before, we didn't really have a lot of furniture. And now that we know we're going to move on to a boat, we're also not really buying new furniture. And this has actually helped us save a fair amount of money. And for any new furniture that we needed, we'd just run to Home Depot, buy some cheap wood, and then build some makeshift furniture that works for now. We're also selling furniture on Craigslist, so we're making a little money that way too. Yep. Six is we're avoiding buying any new clothes unless we really, really need it. My programming job is related to a retail company and I get a modest discount on their clothes. So when we do have to buy new clothes, we try to use the discount. And lastly, number seven, we're not taking vacations this year. We're only visiting family, but no traveling. Basically, we're trying to live a fairly minimalistic lifestyle, which also works well because when we move on to a boat, we're not going to be able to take a lot of things with us, and it helps prepare us to live in a smaller, more confined space with fewer material possessions. So all of that is what we're doing to spend less. We also have an initiative to earn more. One of the things we're doing to that end is selling things that we don't need, furniture, clothes, old electronics, whatever. And, and while my job pays well, I'm also probably going to be looking for some extra contract work, writing iPhone apps or websites to help fill in on those months that we didn't quite hit our savings goal. We're on pretty good pace. We are behind of what we had intended to be at this point, but that's why we set an ambitious goal so that, you know, the saying, shoot for the stars and at least you'll land near the moon or something like that. What's the saying? <laughs> so we set an ambitious goal and even if we fall short, hopefully our worst case scenario is that we, you know, can still get a Lagoon 410 or something similar. Whatever it is, we'll make it work. Part of this is that we're really trying to aim to be on the boat by some time next summer. So that's our current plan. We'd be curious to hear your feedback and any tips you guys have for, for saving money or earning more or how you went about saving for your boat. Comment below, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video. <laughs> <laughs>